Well, no great surprises in the team news. Husserdink's one main choice was in midfield. He's gone for the youth of Mikel over the experience of Balak. Alex has postponed a groin operation to be able to play. The former Arsenal left-back Ashley Cole can become the first player since the 19th century to earn five winners' medals. Six others have also won it before, five with Chelsea, and Nicholas Anelka with Arsenal 11 years ago now. This is a look at the Chelsea formation. As you said, Mikel is the one key addition. He's going to be playing in the holding role. That allows Frank Lampard and Michael Essien to break forward. Look out for Flora Maluda, trying to make diagonal runs to join Didier Drogba as often as possible. Chelsea number 39, Nicholas Adelka. Introducing today's Everton team. Everton have been hard hit by injuries all season. The cruelest to Phil Jagielka, whose penalty decided the semi-final shootout here. Joseph Yobo is an experienced deputy, though. Otherwise, it is the team which saw off Manchester United, which means Marwan Fellaini returns after being rested for last Sunday's win at Fulham. 18-year-old Jack Rodwell drops down to the bench. Fellaini will be the key player. Everton play a very direct style of play, and if he doesn't win balls in the air, players like Louis Sahar, Leon Osman and Stephen Pienaar won't be able to profit. Tim Cahill too, watch out for him at set plays. Everton kick off. 14 years since they last won the FA Cup, they were big underdogs that day against Manchester United. And certainly they're in the, uh, the same position today. Here's Leighton Baines and Pina, who's been in really brilliant form. Mini using his height. And a goal from Louis Saha. 26 seconds. A stunning start. Two goalless draws in the Premier League, but in the FA Cup final, Everton have got off to a real flyer. A moment of real quality from a very experienced striker. Well, it started straight from the kickoff. Yobo played the ball on. Chelsea couldn't deal with it. It's good combination play from Pienaar and Leighton Baines, who had got forward. There was a question mark against the offside. It probably was offside. When Pienaar plays the ball into the box, this is the crucial challenge. Fellaini wins the ball in the box. Sahar with space, and what a finish that is with his left foot. Can't blame Petr Cech at all, but that's the battle. Alex against Fellaini. What a start we've got to the game. Wembley history. With the most sensational start. And Everton, who... Uh, the underdogs, but also the underdogs in terms of would they get a goal, where would it come from? They've got a goal, and the selection of Saha, that was an issue for David Moyes. Certainly was. Whether to play Cahill at the outset up front and maybe use Saha later on. Well, Saha can run in behind people. Cahill, the line, he can't run in behind people. Saha has got that extra of the pace. He's a good turner with the ball. Of course, he's had his injury problems and he's not as consistent as his manager would like him to be but he does pose a threat in behind, but what a finish that was. So Chelsea will be recalling that they came from behind here in the semi-final to beat Arsenal. Everton have such a resilience, they have such great character, and now they've got something really to uh, fuel their belief, Baines going in. It's interesting that the two wide midfield players, Osman and Pienaar, are playing quite narrow just to try and combat that three mid that midfield three of Chelsea. Chelsea haven't been able to get on the ball so far. Well, that's amazing competition. Well, it's uh, thick book of records has just got a new addition to it, the fastest goal in the final. All came from that kickoff. off he hardly had to touch the ball, the ball was played forward, and you're going to see that a lot from Everton when they get free kicks, when they get the chance to get players forward, they will play a very direct style of play. Essien, the single.
So, who's hitting skills now? Really put to the test. Huge respect in the Everton ranks for Chelsea and just the individual ability of the players, but the way Hiddink has moulded them into a, a fighting outfit again. Lost their way under Scolari. Drogba. Crashing into uh, the ball and the man. That was good defending from Everton all round because they pressed the ball high up and then when they got played round, they recovered quickly. Spotted by Lescott. They're in front of Drogba. But even more now, Chelsea will look towards Maluda now that uh, Hibbert's carrying a yellow card. And he's away. Yobo across. For Anelka. And Not able to uh, battle the opposition as uh, he would have hoped. Step over and a drop of the shoulder. Alex is off to uh, Holland. Uh, groin surgery. As soon as there's uh, commitments that won't be allowed. Lescott was hoping that Howard would come for that. Howard wasn't alert to the situation. So Lescott dealt with it himself. And Elka. a key battle, Didier Drogba against Jolien Lescott, and at the moment, Lescott's won the battle. Three or four times he's intercepted balls or just shrugged Drogba off the ball, won a header against him. Hitting with the problems at the moment. Usually sides uh, ease off between success in the semis and the big day itself, that's certainly not been the case with the Chelsea and Everton. Chelsea, of course, had the Champions League semi-finals to keep their concentration, but they've won all their league games since they beat Arsenal here in the semi. Everton with ten points from their last four games, making sure that they were ready for a fast start. They were in gear. From the kick-off at Wembley, they were in overdrive. Maluda. And it's... Uh, smart the way. I think Howard Webb has... Reacted to a flag from David Richardson. Tony Hibbert's got to start defending a little bit better. He's got to watch his position. Was he offside? Actually, Cole may well have been. In the end, Howard makes the save. Good decision by the assistant referee. Everton really do epitomise the team ethic. The whole greater than the sum of the individual parts. That team ethic already being put to the test by Chelsea's skill. So the, uh, the comfort with the shape of play that hiddick has been asking them to operate within. Essien. Cole. Ashley Cole, of course. Joe Cole missing out. Long-term injury. Drogba. Essien. And he used his left foot to better effect against Barcelona at Stamford Bridge here against Everton at Wembley. That came to him very quickly. I thought Didier Drogba may have been offside when that ball was played. Hibbert in a 1v1, just had a swing at the ball. It comes back to Essien. Over the bar. Came back to him too quickly, ready for him to get that on target. Lampard. Now Maluda. Drogba coming from the opposite flank. Really in there to put any pressure on Lescott. Nelka was 10, 12 yards outside the penalty area. And it's Cahill. And the, uh, the stamina will be put to the test today. Quicker tempo than would have been the case if we hadn't had that uh, remarkable start. We haven't 
seen Frank Lampard in forward positions. Usually we see him make forward runs. He's been the provider so far from deeper positions. There's Anelka. There is Lampard. Still with plenty ahead of him. And the header by Drogba. 1 1. The man for the big occasion again. Everton static. Drogba on the move, and Chelsea back in business. Well, Drogba was outside the box when the ball was played forward. Lampard again, it's that combination. Lampard out to Maluda. It's a lovely whipped in ball into the danger area. Drogba had a real run at it. It was five against one in the box, but Drogba attacked the ball with more determination. And once he got there, it was a really good technical header. Howard wasn't even able to dive. I said that Lescott was beating Drogba in the early part of the game. And it came, and when it mattered, Drogba was first to the ball. The scorer of the winner in the final two years ago is the scorer of the equaliser here in 2009. And a real centre-forward header. Certainly was. What a cross that was from Maluda, has been the outstanding player for Chelsea so far in this game. It's given Hibbert a really difficult time, although it's the other way round here. Here comes Hibbert. Good cross on the run too. And it almost fell to Sahar in a pretty similar area. Chelsea this time were a little more alive. Old adage about being most vulnerable when you've just scored. Stole it from Lescott and foul Baines. Nelka hasn't really got into the game so far. Most of the threat's been down Chelsea's left. David Moyes will be disappointed with his centre halves when that ball came into the box. Was it travelled quite a distance? Yes, it was whipped in. They didn't attack the ball. Rarity Stewart in uh, recent years, both teams have scored in an FA Cup final. I think that makes for that going to be an outstanding game. Lampard. Once again, that was a great pass from Frank Lampard. Robert just turned and got into the space down the side of Yobo. When it came back to Lampard, it's a good strike. Didn't quite dip enough. He can punish Everton two ways. He can run into the box and score goals or score from distance. That's got giving possession away to Lampard of Chelsea. Maluda again. Ashley Cole setting off. Maluda answers his own pace against the already booked Hibbert. Everton's right back did well. Up with Manchester United five years ago. Baines, Cahill played in that final against Manchester United for Millwall. Fellaini. Michael working hard to keep it in. To get players around Fellaini if they're going to just uh, float it up to his head. Well, that's a wasteful throw from Pienaar, throwing it 20, 30 yards up to Fellaini, there's no one around him, what can he, what's he going to do with it? If he flicks it on, it's just going to go to a Chelsea player, he can't bring it down. Just going to take their time, Everton, just get a foothold back in the game. Essien, Lampard, Baines is there for Everton. Here's Osman. Someone outside him, Hibbert coming from deep and really bursting into the space, concerned about uh, the gap he might leave if Chelsea got it to Maluda. Osman's cross. Here's Anelka. 
He's got it past Hibbert. Ball of some range. Maluda. Comes for Anelka. I want to say Hibbert's recovery run there was poor. Maluda was on for a long time. Anelka had turned away from it once. Lampard turned away from it. Eventually, when the ball was played, Hibbert still wasn't back in his right back slot. It's important that if he does go forward, he can't get back. Osman, even Neville fills in for him. Alex. Chelsea work it. To the far side again to Ashley Cole this time. Takes it back from Maluda. Rather run into trouble on that occasion. Maluda's already in his short time in English football. Has Good record at Wembley, scored on his Chelsea debut here in a community shield, and he scored in that semi-final win in April against Arsenal. David Moyes has just asked Sahar to play on the right-hand side, so that when Ashley Cole does go forward, Everton may be able to get the ball out to him in the space that Ashley Cole's left. It hasn't worked for them so far, and it has meant they've been short up front when they play the ball forward. First half an hour, during which time both Chelsea and Everton have scored. And given how well these two teams have been matched in the Premier League this season, there's always the possibility of the extra half hour. The single. Look at the cross, but it's a header under some challenge. And they're caught out again here. Maluda crosses again. Again, whip it in, Baines making sure the hands were behind his back. Certainly, when anybody looked at him, I think they were when the initial contact was made. I'm not quite so sure. He looked slightly, slightly guilty, but it couldn't have been deliberate. First time we've seen Lampard really break forward beyond the front players. He's dominating the game from more from a deeper position where he's spraying passes around. Lampard with the corner with a lot of height on it. Towards Alex. That's a great tussling against the odds by Pinar, who's a, such a gritty and a skillful player as well. Saha. Cahill. Was better from Everton on the counter attack. What a pass that was from Saha as well. He was just making a forward run, so Hart nearly picked him out to perfection. Lobo just got to it and dropped wheels away, arm raised in the frustration as it was so close to putting him in. Now Saha, I think we're covering well from right back, he needed to. It was his fault to start with, he went in behind the centre-half, Saha pulled onto him and then made the run in behind Alex. Fortunately, Basinga got back, just had the pace to get the other side of Saha. It was a worrying moment for the back four of Chelsea. We made the point about Lampard, Stuart. Basinga hasn't got forward much either, and he, uh, certainly when Scolari was the boss, he was bombing on all the time, wasn't he? But it's, it's been left, left and left again. Well, I think they've looked at... This, I think, has looked at the Everton set-up and thought that the left-hand side is where they can cause problems. Lampard just goes a bit deeper, playing on the left-hand side of the three in midfield. It allows Ashley Cole and Maluda to really dominate that area. Drogba, that's got successfully. Neville into the feet of Fellaini. There's no one really running to give him an option in behind Chelsea. Peanut. Of decent passes in the last couple of minutes. Well, when Everton actually get hold of the ball, they take their time and allow other players to go and join Sahar. They've shown a bit of quality. Sahar just trying to flick that over John Terry and get into his path. But again, Alex and Terry were too far apart. And, uh, Everton pressed into a mistake here. Drogba with a bit between his teeth and the ball at his feet, but not for long because 
And Neville got back after his error. Cahill. Giving and going. Pinar. Five forward for Everton in this attack. Bellaini. Hibbert. And he should get across in this time. We've got some good headers of the ball. Wasn't really tailored to bring those qualities into play. That was a really poor cross. Did he draw but just get up at the other end of the field? Baines. Been our court. By Anelka. Uh, always known for his tracking back. He's working hard here. Put in, but almost uh, manufactured the pass here. And uh, Ashley Cole, fresh from his goal at Sunderland in the Premier League last weekend, might have approached this with a bit more confidence and a bit more accuracy. And Maluda was trying to play it back to one of his centre halves, and it came off Fellaini. Hibbert struggling. Now, he's beaten far too easily here. He's almost jogging. And then it's, it's a really poor, poor effort from Ashley Cole at the end. Well, obviously, Everton got off to a great start. And I don't think it's worked out quite how we expected. You look at the way Chelsea have played, playing all down that left-hand side. We thought a lot of it would come from Basinga down the right, maybe a nail cut. It's all been down that left-hand side. I think David Moyes has got to make a change. But if Everton can just keep hold of the ball in midfield for a couple of passes and then get it wide and get crosses into the box, I still think Cahill, Blaney, Sahar can still beat Chelsea's back two in the air. That is uh, the end of a uh, vibrant first half at Wembley. Who's hitting? Saw his side go down to the fastest ever FA Cup final goal. Scored by David Moyes is Louis Saha, the manager's pick. But the man for the big occasion, Didier Drogba, came up with a big header for Chelsea. And Chelsea have looked threatening, particularly down, as Stuart was saying, down that left-hand side where Hibbert has been exposed and has struggled against the combined threat of... Florent Maluda, who made the goal, and Ashley Cole, who also had a very good chance to score near the end of this first half. But at half-time, it's level, but we've had goals from both sides. Chelsea won, Everton won. He's actually get forward, he's a very defensive player, he's quite strong in the tackle. I don't think he's got great pace, he's a decent passer. He'll just play balls forward, and he'll make overlapping runs. You just try and keep a bit of steadiness in that right back position. And this is the FA Cup final second half at 1 1. We've also seen a change with the way Everton are lining up up front just from this first few seconds. It looks as though Cahill is going to play further forward and for line he's going to play deeper up against Michael Essien. So another change that they're made, Everton. Not in personnel, but in terms of positional. Shadow's starting to lengthen a little bit here. <laughs> Alex to take the free kick. in a very positive way for Chelsea, just bedding themselves into the second period. And what Cahill's going to do, he's going to close the centre-halves down. Fellaini played slightly deeper, it almost looks as though he's going to play up front with Sahar, rather than that position slightly deeper. But it does leave Mikel really wide open to get hold of the ball and start to dictate things for Chelsea. A strength there against Maluda. Jacobson needing to defend again. Be pleased just to get these uh, early moments safely uh, achieved. And he 
Chelsea's got a very, very important job if Chelsea approach the second half along the lines of the first. If, uh, Everton can shut that particular door. They have a better chance of coming out on top here. Phil Neville was on the ground here and just had a little jump. We did catch Mikel. Mikel put his foot in the way just to try and shield the ball. Baines with the crossfield pass. Mikel. SEM. Lampard uh, suggesting he was innocent there. Everton had the ball, so the referee played on. And Cahill certainly doing that with that uh, appetite. It's such an important part of his game. It allows his talents, undoubted talents, to flourish. Had to work very hard to get to this level of the game from where he came from. He's determined not to let any minute pass without making the maximum use of it. Jakobsen. Neville able to put it in towards Fellaini. This is Pienaar, can he shift it and shoot? And he wasn't thinking of doing that, he was trying to involve Leighton Baines, I think, but there was no chance of Baines getting it there. Chelsea break with Anelka. Lampard to one side, Drogba to the other, Drogba trying to drag defenders away. Lampard, supporting cast arriving in the shape of Ashley Cole. The six FA Cup final, remember. And Jakobsen whips it out of immediate danger, but it's another corner. At least he saw the danger, Jakobsen. I think he was seeing the danger in the first half, give and go from Ashley Cole. Showing plenty of pace. Not really started. Could have played down the other end. Baines looked as though he might get in behind them. It was too short to him. And Chelsea attacked the space he'd come from. And towards John Terry at the near post. And the referee blows his whistle. A shirt tugging by Lani to start with. Then a push in the back. That's when made the most of it. And it's much easier for referees to give decisions that way. Manager of the year, voted that by his fellow managers. That's the ultimate accolade, really. When you think that it's the third time he's won that award. Even though Everton haven't been picking up silverware, speaks volume for the respect in which uh, David Moyes is held. And rightly so. Yoba. Yeah, offside. Cahill was coming back. Ball travel a long way. If Everton are going to play those long balls for it, it's important they do get support, and that was better. Who created a 2v1 up against Basingwa, Pienaar. Oh, the uh, tape coming on. And Balak was applying it. Will come on, but he uh, could be coming on here with a goal for Chelsea and for Anelka, who sprinted onto the scene, beat Tim Howard, but couldn't couldn't quite get the shot on target, otherwise Chelsea would have been in front here. Look at this pass from Frank Lampard, Anelka's pace gets beyond Yopo, Gias lifts it too high, Tim Howard was caught in no man's land, the vision and precision of the pass from Lampard was brilliant. In uh, the usual pre-final criticism about the ticket allocation, only 25,000 each for fans of Everton and Chelsea. And Webb penalises Cahill here. But I must say the noise levels are rising now. As we get to the last half hour, it's going to be decided in 90 minutes. Well, Mikel wasn't in, within playing distance of the ball. Tim Cahill had a little tug at him to start with, then tried to run around him. Mikel just ran across his line. Sometimes referees make those decisions a bit too quickly. Stuart. Michael Essien, not his normal 
dominant self. A little off the pace today. Now he's off the pitch. Michael Ballack will pose a threat in the air. He's got the athleticism of Michael Essien, but Michael Essien didn't show his athleticism today. Didn't break away from anybody. He's hardly involved in the game. Michael Ballack gets his chance. And by Fellaini. And by Cahill. And the chest of Saha. That's uh, the Singwa. Well, it's really here for the winning. Particularly as time this comes in, blocked uh, by Cahill. With an arm, but uh, obviously Howard Webb saying not intentional and, and allowed Cahill to swing into the shot and Cahill might be wishing now that's not the case because he's limping. I think he took a, a ball, whacked into him, John Terry was trying to clear it. Great bravery from Tim Cahill, I think he probably fouled Alex when the first, ball first went up, just gave him a nudge in the back. Solid player, Tim Cahill, he'll battle for everything. And they're a solid team, Everton Football Club. Pina, Osman going in. And Philip never won't shoot, despite the cries from the crowd. Certainly not his game. But it's Pina, that comes Czech, at the feet of Baines. Well played to see and Czech just saw that run. Good run from Leighton Baines. so far since he's been on. He's up his own players a couple of times, this time it's Pienaar. Pienaar just trying to get away from him, and it's another opportunity. Can Everton get the ball into the danger? Their crossing hasn't been good enough so far. They've got such good headers of the ball. We talk about Yobo and Lescott, one or two others. The crosses haven't been good enough. This one is from Baines. Cahill behind him with Saha. Louis Saha. Close to a second, close to giving Everton the lead for a second time. Should score, and that shows you if the crosses are good enough, Everton will get on the end of them. It's well worked, no one presses the ball, it comes into the danger area. Sahar should score, it's been marked by Ashley Cole there to start with. Ashley Cole doesn't go back with him. He's good opportunity. He's coming on to it rather like Drogba came on to it for his goal. And the eyes light up if you're... Uh... I was going to say a number nine, he is a number nine, but of course it doesn't really matter these days, that's showing, <laughs> showing my uh, age, I'm afraid. But you know what I mean. John Terry in the left-back position at the moment, but, uh, realising that he needs to get back, probably wants to spell in the shade. But here goes Maluda, really fisted across, and in the end it's uh, hit drug, but he uh, appreciates the penetration in the run. Good play from Maluda, goes past Osman far too easily, and he waxes across. It comes off Fellaini to start with, and then hits Drogba. Oh, could have easily flown into the net. I think it could have flown into the net off Fellaini as yeah. well. Hitting, as the Dutch coaches often do, Stuart, expect his defenders to be able to defend. He's not going to pad them out with midfield players. No, certainly not. He doesn't expect his midfield players to go back in with... Go past his centre backs. The centre backs have got to deal with it. They play zonally. They have to deal with it when it comes into the box. Maluda. <laughs> oh, Maluda again. Played in the, the World Cup final. Remember for France. Lampard. Never shy about shooting, and you can see why. from Frank Lampard and that dance around the corner flag a reminder of his father who also won the FA Cup Frank Lampard senior in his West Ham days used to celebrate a rare goal from the dad like that but the son does this all the time well he's going to shoot with his right foot he cuts inside Neville and then he hits the shot perfectly with his left foot he's got two great feet it's an excellent strike Howard gets a touch to it, there's the trickery, slips over, then get, regains his composure and balance, strikes it perfectly. 
fingertips from Howard, not enough. Well, there was just that momentary stumble which might have given Everton a chance to nick the ball away from Lampard and once the shot got going, once Howard reached it, maybe he could have done a bit more to keep it out. But it's going hitting its way now and Frank Lampard yet again has reached 20 goals for the season, the 20th coming in glorious style. And so similar to their semi-final at Wembley, they've made 1-0 down into 2-1 up. That was enough against Arsenal in April. Will it be enough against Everton? Good response from Everton. Pino not having a shot. Almost went into the path of Osman. And Sahar coming in at the far post. He's better off just whipping this into the danger area. He's hit it with the outside of his boot. Sort of whipping it in with the inside. We talked about Lampard before the game, he can score both ways, he can run into the box and time his runs, or if they back off of him, he can hit shots from distance. That's the latter that has paid off for him today. Beautifully kept in by Ashley Cole, Chelsea on the charge again, Lampard's on the charge again, but he goes for the pass this time, Maluda, no flag, and that would have been the FA Cup. Got to go through this with his laces again. Which player set it up? Frank Lampard, was he offside? Yes, he probably was, yes, he was. But once he's got into that position, he's got to go with power, low and hard. Put his laces through the back of the ball. Instead, he goes for the chip. He knows it's a bad error. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, uh, it's uh, it's so, so spectacular. Younger legs required. Forms all hustle and bustle. Another player that's good in the air and certainly will put a challenge in whenever the ball comes in the box and when it's played forward. It's beaten there by Alex. And Chelsea got a free kick. So I think this is a poor decision by Howard Webb. Action replay may prove me wrong. I think Fulani just goes for the ball, he's wholehearted. He's up in the air. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that challenge whatsoever. I think sometimes Fellaini is punished just because he's big. Bounce back ability. Well, there's a swerve on that. Was it over the line? Well, the assistant I wasn't that was a in a position to uh, give it. Flora Maluda, arm raised, but the flag wasn't raised. I must say that was my first instincts as well, Stuart. Certainly my first instincts as that shot went in and hit the underside of the bar. Thought the ball was over the line. So too did the Chelsea players, not surprisingly. What a strike that was from Aluda. Picked up the ball, he's gone further in field now that Jakobsen's played well since he's been on. Here's Basingra. So Aluda who's missed a chance. Since it went 2-1, has he been uh, wrongly denied a goal here, Drogba? Still trying to stay on the front foot as Everton have to find some reserves of energy. To get the best angle from here, I'm not sure. But this is the one that will tell us. That's a goal. Our instincts were right, right at the beginning. He knows it. The Chelsea players knew it. Everton have got away with that. It's a great strike from Maluda. He's been outstanding throughout the game, particularly in the first half. What a difference he's been under the leadership of this hitting. Here's Ashley Cole. Comes back to Basingua. Melka, Lampard. Wanted to get within range of goal again. And down he goes. And Howard Webb 
has given a free kick against Lampard. Well, if he's done that, he's got to book him, and he has done. Great decision from Howard Webb. Was he right or not? Lampard shielding the ball, tries to get the cross in first time. Well, there is contact with Pienaar, but I think he makes the most of it. Pienaar's leg come across him. Well, there certainly was contact. Many refs would have given the penalty. I say that really could have gone either way. Cahill winding up. He won't give up about the strongest of fights. I think this is a poor decision. Got players in the box. Just need to get it into the danger area. Look at Malani in there. Vaughan both good in the air. You can see how, what that means to David Moyes. Not happy with that decision by Cahill. Getting to an FA Cup finals. Another step up the ladder. David Moyes has been emphasising that, but uh, they've come here to win. And uh, for much this very hot afternoon, they've been in contention. And they're still in contention of. Wiping the smiles off Chelsea faces. Chelsea, though, should be taking absolutely nothing for granted. Lampard. And it's Anelka. Well, you can't say they haven't had the opportunities to put real daylight between themselves and Everton. Look at the movement, Anelka. And who passed the ball? Frank Lampard again. That's inch perfect. Good first touch from Anelka. And then just can't keep the lob down. But again, good movement from Anelka. And a central roll now. Didier Druk has gone out to the right hand side. And Balak can involve him. That, uh, should be tidied up by Lescott, but Everton uh, obviously physically tired but mentally stressed as well now. No team in the FA Cup final has had a, a quicker start. But, uh, as we pointed out at the time, there was a lot of recovery time for Chelsea and recover. And they have done. And here's Basingua on the burst. Anelka's in the middle. It's outside the box. But it's certainly uh, a foul by Baines. A yellow card for Baines. Good run from Basinga. We haven't seen him get forward as much as we normally do. I'm not sure how much pain he's got of Basinga there, but he had to jump over the challenge. And it's a run down the clock time from Didier Drogba. Pienaar gets it back. That's uh, Mikel. Well, usually in uh, the FA Cup, certainly in the Premier League years, the team that's carried the higher league position has uh, won through in the final. Chelsea actually gave the lie to that when they beat Manchester United two years back. But it's over. Chelsea have won it for the fifth time, this time for their Dutch master. A very sweet climax to a short stay at Stamford Bridge for who's hitting. He may have to find a new head coach, but he knows who the players want, who the fans want, and who may yet be available again. Frank Lampard decided it with a spectacular. And it's still this hoodoo that Everton can't break. Chelsea have a hex on them. The last winners at the Old Wembley, the first and now third winners in the new stadium. Chelsea from southwest London are writing their own pages in the FA Cup history in the northwest of the capital. They've done it by the comeback route yet again. Chelsea 2, Everton 1. Cup run started by Scolari, taken on by Ray Wilkins.
And finished off by Hoos hitting. Bruce Buck, Peter Kenyon from the boardroom. But the, uh, the handing over of the FA Cup has actually happened from Kofi Annan. United Nations is a good description of the Chelsea camp. FA Cup winners for 2009.